Jay, I will let you take it from here with your coach. Thanks, Alan. Coach, um, I, always, I always imagined this day coming that it was going to be daunting. It was going to be a heavy day. But yet over the last day or so, even before we came on the show, hearing you talk, there seems to be a level of excitement uh, about what's next. Right. You continue to provide perspective on that. Is that how you're feeling right now? Yeah, I'm very excited. One, I'm still going to coach next season. And you know, when Mickey, my wife, and I made the decision uh, to retire at the end of the season, uh, we wanted to make it now so there would be a runway uh, for the new coach, John Shire, will be announced today, and uh, uh, and also where they could recruit, they could recruit the next class because I wouldn't be coaching the next class, and so I'm excited because I still have the one year left. And look, I've had I've been like an incredibly lucky guy, and uh, you play all those highlights and whatever. It's exciting just to you know look back and. Uh, yeah, and, and celebrate those things and and celebrate you guys, all the, the great guys that I've had play for me. Coach, when when did you um when 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 did you and Mickey come to this ultimate decision that this was going to be your last year? And how did you come to that? Yeah, uh, good question. It, we've been talking about because we're I'm seventy four, we're both seventy four. And you start looking around and say, we're 74. <laughs> like, when did that happen? And because uh, uh, you're constantly in the moment of the season. And so uh, this wasn't be, um, healthy. She is too. Not COVID or people say, you know, the college basketball is in horrible shape right now. And it might be, but that's not the reason. Uh, we just, about two months ago, said, is this really the time? And, uh, and then we talked, you know how we are as a family. My three daughters, we uh, sat down with them and had a really long talk. And, and before talking to anyone else, then we, I talked to the guys on my staff. And, and then it was pr a progression, uh, Jay. It, it was a progression. And then finally I talked to my AD and then my college president, and I, I asked them, to, uh, that I would like to still coach this year, but that if once you make a decision, you you not just make a decision, you have to imp how is it implemented? How does it work? And so we came up with this plan. Our school uh, is part of that plan. They they wanted this, and I f I'm happy that we're going to try it this way. It's not just you're retiring. That's it. Boom, it's over. And. Uh, and then I'm going to stay at the school as an ambassador uh, in helping not just the athletic department, but the university. Coach, I'm so curious. How did you, what, what attributes did you see in, in John Shire that made you know that he was going to be the, the next head coach at our school? Well, first of all, as a player, he was a, he's just like you. Not as good as you, uh, but he's, he's set that, he, he is pretty damn good too. And uh, yeah. uh, he was, uh, you know, he was a national champion and he loved big moments. You know, no one, you, know, you and Leitner, the guy, two guys, and probably Reddick, that loved big moments the most and uh, were at your best. But uh, John, I, I saw in him as a player uh, the fact that he he knew the game really well, it just natural. He, he he just was. I call him a natural. And then he had an injury once he was trying to play pro uh, ball, to an eye injury that uh, I was able to get him back early. Like he's still a young guy, and so I've had him for eight years, and I've just seen him grow and grow. In the last few years, he was my right hand person, uh, my associate head coach, and uh, Jay. He's ready. You know, he, he's ready, and, and then with the help of uh, uh, Chris Carwell and Nolan Smith, who are also fantastic, uh, you know, they'll do, they'll do great. They'll have to add a, another guy or person, let's put it that way, uh, on the staff at the <laughs> end of the year. But uh, he'll, do, he'll do well. 
Coach, I, I've known you since I've been 16 years old. I mean, I, I can sit up here and talk all day long about how you, you've changed my life and you've changed countless lives. How does this process continue for you? Because I, I know that you do not plan on stopping touching people and you know, transforming right. people. Well, you know, I'm, uh, one, I'm going to spend a lot of time watching my uh, grandchildren gr keep growing, a uh, ton of them. But, uh, you know, I've, had, I've been very fortunate. Like, uh, you know, I've been very proud of you and how uh, you talk about crossing bridges in your life. You had a big, a huge bridge to cross, and you did it, and it, it's one of the great stories. Uh, you know, a lot of my guys have great stories. It may not be as public. Uh, some of them are great pros, but a lot of guys are, they just keep growing and, and their families keep growing. And, uh, you know, to stay, to keep up those relationships, you know, the, you know, the fact that we have that uh, is, means a lot to me. You know, the, you know, last night when you sent that video of your kids and your little girl, uh, Hi, Coach K, and uh, you, know, you, know, you were taking too much of the picture. You should have just put her on. And, and I'm, 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 you know, uh, with three daughters, I know she has you tied right around her, any finger she wants. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, oh. it's neat for me to see that in you, that, uh, that uh, you know, all you were used to be concerned about is scoring 30 points in a ball game. By the way, I was glad mm. that you were concerned about doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always taught me it was about something bigger than myself, and now I finally understand what you mean. 